You know, Chuck, the world is full of stuff you should know. That's right, Josh. And you know, some people say that we're on a mission to hunt that stuff down and break it down for the masses. That's right. Introduce us. Well, we're Josh and Chuck from HowStuffWorks.com. Because not everybody knows. Well, you know, not long ago, we heard that Toyota invited people to use the new Prius technologies to solve problems in the real world. Yeah, and I was kind of surprised. The ideas were really awesome. Like stuff that might just make the world a better place level awesome. That's right, dude. So what we did was we set out on the road Uh to see these ideas as like life was breathed into them. That's exactly right. And we even met the people who came up with them. That's right. So Stu S, do we know his last name? No, but I've decided he should be Stu Sinkelstein. Okay. So we're going to meet Stu at some point. Stu is the guy who uh, came up with the idea to use the Thumbs technology to build a better bike helmet was the title of his entry. And you know what? We're going to a bike shop right now here in Pittsburgh. So we're going to a bike shop to talk to a guy about helmets. Yeah. You must be Barry. Hey, guys. Good to meet you. Chuck. Yep. Hey, I'm Josh. Good to meet you. Yeah, you mind if we uh, talk to you? Certainly. Hey, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> Say hello. Thanks. Nice. Is this backwards or yeah, forwards? It's not too bad. No, that's backwards. Yeah. I got a 50-50 shot. <laughs> this makes me feel safe. Like, if I wore this helmet around all the time, I would be friendlier to other people. I think wearing a helmet like this would bring me out of my shell in general. I could see, yeah. Uh, Ironically, because you were in your shell. Yeah. Like, it, it's replacing the metaphorical shell with the real one, you know? So you deal with bike helmets a lot. This guy came up with this idea, like, do you think that this is the ultimate design, or could you think of, like, hey, man, they should do this to a bike helmet? That is excellent. Yeah. So we got all this cross stuff going on. You got people from different avenues filtering in and making products better for everyone. Exactly. That's the idea. Well put. I have a theory that guys that actually are real bikers just look cooler in helmets. You gotta wear glasses. You're not a biker? <laughs> oh, yeah, the glasses? Yeah, the well sunglasses, you okay, know, that yeah, gives yeah, you that yeah, full sure. Lance Armstrong look. Yes. Right. And pants that leave nothing to the imagination. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. So, Josh, I put out the word that we were going to Pittsburgh on our uh, Facebook fan page, and they all said the same thing. You gotta go to Promantis and get a sandwich. Sort of the Pittsburgh equivalent of I think the Varsity in Atlanta. So oh, okay. big, gross, uh, open-faced sandwich with lots of stuff on it. The Varsity is not gross. Uh, yeah. So, Stu. I love Stu. I do too, he was a good guy. Oh, I thought you meant like beef stew. No. Hey, Stu, thank you for joining us on this bike ride. Sure. So, I guess my first question to you is, you know, why bike helmet? So I'm a, a regular bicycle commuter. I love my road bike. It, uh, you can't marry a bicycle, but if you could, I would marry this bicycle okay. because it... <laughs> have a name? I think in Arizona you can now. <laughs> what led me to the bicycle idea is that when they when they test helmets now, they put this weight in the helmet and they drop it straight down. And yeah, we saw it yesterday. You yeah. dropped that thing a bunch. Three, right? two, one, drop. Three, two, one, drop. Bam, it made a, lot, made a loud sound when yeah, they're sure going did. to. So, you know, I said that that thumb simulator seems like it could give a lot more uh, detailed uh, view of what happens during crashes. Yeah. And, it, and it can, it turned out it can. The, that little helmet black box that uh-huh. we're using to instrument the helmets is amazing. That little uh, instrumentation device has three axis accelerometers plus gyroscopes in it that measure acceleration on three axes and also rotation wow. with the gyroscopes. And that little data gatherer is what is one of the things that really, that little black box for helmets it's really intrigued me out of this. Uh, if, if you put it in a kid's helmet. Uh-huh. I have kids, I mean, I have kids, um, and when, when something happens, they're always pretty fuzzy about what happened. Right. What happened to your helmet? Nothing. Right. right? <laughs> well, why is it in three pieces? Yeah, why is it, how'd you bust your helmet in half? I don't know, I can't remember, and maybe they really can't remember, right? <laughs> maybe they lost conscious. So if you uh, networked the black box to the cell phone, to oh. the smartphone, the, the cell phone GPS location in it uh-huh. could phone home and say, hey, alert, your kid just had a, look, seemed to have experienced 125 Gs from the back of the head. Maybe you want to go check them out. So, I mean, all this stuff is built and designed by Deep Local. They fabricated microchips for this event. But Nathan, what a hunk. <laughs> yeah, he had a crush on him. You get feedback to a parent. Kid falls off his bike. Kid comes in crying, and you can tell really quickly what was the, the what happened to this head, how much was the force. Oh, interesting. Put it in a computer. I mean, so right now it's a micro SD card, but it could just as easily be a Bluetooth or a wireless device. You set the helmet down near the computer, 
what happened, you know? Right. Tell me what happened. It just records that for you, which and is then nice. And say, you're faking it. Yeah. Go to your room. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, go to school. <laughs> Great idea. Thank you very much for uh, talking with us. And congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Winning, go, man. winning the car was a good part, too, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's get out of here and get that sandwich. Yeah. Can we get a cup of coffee, too? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Stu was pretty awesome, Josh. Yeah, I like Stu a lot. He was really hands-on with it, too, like testing and um, providing ideas, and everybody was listening to him. He's a nice guy. Loved it, and I think it might be my favorite idea so far. Mine, too. <laughs> <laughs>